Let's do a super short tutorial on one of the most useful uh, functions when you're doing data wrangling, um, when you want to add some, some metadata uh, columns to your data sets uh, in Excel and in R. And I'm talking about the if function. So just a simple uh, single if statement and how to, to do it in R. Very fortunately, it's done in exactly the same manner. So it's one of the easiest things to pick up when uh, you're transferring from Excel to R. Let's uh, let's clean up here. Uh, import the data set from this link and write it to your um, to your working directory. Um, I'm just going to set the uh, working directory to my documents folder here for a sec. Then let's run an add deep layer, which is optional, but I always like to show it in base R and in tidyverse. So here's a data set, and let's add a column name size and say that if uh, the uh, cost is greater or equal to 500, then it's a material campaign, and otherwise it's a negligible campaign. I got an extra apostrophe here. send it out. So let's emulate that in, in R. And we're using uh, a function called if else. And it's uh, it, it takes all the arguments in exactly the same manner. So we're going to add a column called size to the campaign's data set by using uh, if else with uh, the campaign cost column greater than or equal to 500. If true, give me uh, material, if false, give me negligible. Let's run that and you see that it's added here in exactly the same manner. Now let's delete that for a second and just look at how it's done in Diplier uh, or Diplier, I never know exactly how to pronounce that package name. Um, so you take the campaign's data set, you m add, uh, either add or in some, some uh, cases um, alter a, uh, an existing column by using mutate, tagging the name of the column, and then basically running the exact same command. You can use both if else um, from dplyr, which is with the underscore. So you see there's uh, if else from dplyr and if else which from base R, both of them are going to work, so use uh, whichever you fancy. You run that and you get exactly the same result. So that's it uh, for this tutorial. Hope you find it useful. Subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any comments.